Hey everybody, welcome back to our Reign of Kings series. Uh, this will be part three. This will be showing you how to do the defenses to defend your throne once you are king. Uh, right now we're using reinforced iron blocks. Uh, they're wood and iron. It takes, what does it take? It takes 25 wood and one iron to make these blocks. They only have 6,000 health, which is relatively good. It takes like 10 minutes by hand to... Uh, destroy one of these blocks uh treble shade will probably go through it no problem there are tier 7 blocks right now these are tier 6 blocks but there are tier 7 blocks which are a little bit stronger they are 9,000 health but they take a lot to make uh so just get up some sort of defense prior to making those and then use those but yeah let's uh let's go and get king and we'll show you show you what you can do with the king status here and you also you want to make sure you get your defenses you have to be able to uh, protect it if you want to keep it and you can build all the way up this road here anywhere actually you can build anywhere on this map you can build in the head of that uh, castle right there so yeah go ahead and set up your defenses to defend your throne let's head up there now hey everybody welcome back so here is another reign of kings series video this one is about becoming king and defending your castle and your right to the throne if you want to call it your right to the throne but basically here is up in the castle oh shit <laughs> uh. let's try that again all right so i'm back uh, as you can see i fell i'm gonna attempt that again i lost all my loot uh i'm gonna try to recover it after i claim the throne so yeah here's the throne uh, I'm not gonna do that again there's a pit down there and there's a bear with all my loot so let's get the throne get the sword and see if I can get down there and kill him yeah so here's the beautiful throne there you go you get a nice view of your land it's kind of blocked off a bit but this is your castle and it is pretty sweet all right we got the throne you can name the land whatever you may choose. Land of the free, land of the not so, not so free. I'm gonna just leave uh, the taxes at zero. Nobody's on here anyways, so it really doesn't matter. So yeah, let's get that sword. Uh, you also get a crown, so you want to go to the back here, uh, and your sword is here. It's pretty cool. It's like sword in the stone. You got to take it out. Uh, <clears throat> hold you collect the crown. If you can't, it will place the crown back on. So what I find you have to do is if you put yourself into first person, you're actually able to grab the sword a lot easier without constantly placing the crown back on it in third person. It's balling. So there's my throne. There's my uh. My crown look look kind of king like uh, a naked king. My uh, epic sword, the overkill sword I call it, uh, does 18 damage, which is really good. It does the most damage in the game. Uh, it's a little long, kind of looks silly when he runs with it, but yeah, that's the sword. So once you get the sword and the crown, and you have conquered your land. What you can do is, as you've seen, I set the taxes, I set it to zero, but what you can do is you can actually set it to whatever you want. Uh, it goes up to 20%, which is really ridiculous. Uh, a lot of people don't like playing on servers where the king has it set to 20%. People still do, because what happens when you set your taxes, any resources that are collected are taxed on, and they go into, I would call this the king's vault. There's a couple uh, cases here where you can store your resources that are collected from other players collecting them. Uh, each chest holds an item individually. Uh, they all fill up individually, so one would be for wood, clay, stone, iron, so on and so forth. But these can be raided. Uh, if somebody happens to get past your defenses, they can break into these. So you got to be really careful on setting up your base and making sure that nobody gets in here. Yeah. So I'll, uh, let's 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 run down back to the base and continue from there. 
this is how you become king and how you defend your base. Your crown and your sword is in that guy, and your king's vault is right there for all your loot stolen from your villagers. So let's head back down to the base. So I'm back from getting the throne. Uh, it was pretty easy, nobody's on the server at the moment, but when there are people on, and if you're not the first ones on the server and you uh, are behind, good luck at getting the throne. You gotta be pretty good to get it. Uh, if there's defenses up, it's just about building and having your siege weapons going. And a team. You definitely need a team if you want to take over the throne. So yeah, uh, we'll continue. I'm gonna go and collect some more blocks. Uh, we need a lot more to reinforce this. I want to make this pretty thick and we gotta hide that. And we're gonna double up on the gates, put walls in between the gates. Put a wall here, you'll have to walk around. And then throw them in oh, two or three more gates. I uh, want to make this as strong as possible and last as long as we can while we're logged out because I'm sure it will get destroyed over time. Hold on, before we go, let's do a celebratory dance. I am the king. Look at me dance. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. We are the champions. No time for losers. Because we are the champions of the world. 